gonna give a little off-center jab on my shoulder where Lydia's dipping her head now on the center chest. I'm gonna catch it and return quick left hook. Hey guys, Brandon Gibson here, coach at Jackson Winkle John. I'm joined today by Lydia Warren. We're gonna go over some of my favorite drills on the, the paddles. Not a tool that's too commonly used, but it's something that I use a lot to draw uh, speed, balance, uh, footwork, and, and a lot of head movement out of my fighters. Um, I think it's a great tool. You know, the, obviously the mitts, you can draw a lot of power, you can draw a lot of good root, rooted balance. Um, but when it comes to like speed and cardio and, and fast eyes, I love using the paddles. So we're gonna start off with uh, some, some basic paddle combinations, um, focusing just on the jab. One of my favorite things to do when I'm catching jabs is put that target in different positions. Something uh, boxing great Emmanuel Stewart would focus on a lot with his fighters out of Kronk Gym. He would make sure that they could hit the head target wherever they were located. And so I try to carry that same philosophy over into my MMA striking. So Lydia and I are gonna start, and I feel like the paddles are a great tool to use this. So we're gonna give a classic jab right on the center. I'm gonna give a little off-center jab on my shoulder where Lydia's dipping her head to her power side as she throws this jab. So I love this one for, you know, just trying to, like Ray Longo said, like just putting a hole through their chest. Sometimes if their head's too hard to hit, I may just focus right on their chest. So we have a classic jab, one right at their chest, and then we're gonna go a far side jab. And notice Lydia's hips as she throws this far side jab. She goes from her rooted stance to flanking, fencing step, opening her hips up. So I like to catch this one on the far side, forcing Lydia to step in, engage, and adjust her balance. I think this is a great jab when maybe you have the opponent who's pairing, who's bailing, and they're in this far side of position, and the fighter uses that angle and that offline motion to catch them on that jab. So let's review the three basic real quick. We're gonna go our classic jab, our offline jab, and our far jab. Good, nice hand up, Lydia on each one. Good balance, good reset. Again. Very nice. We can definitely catch this same sequence with the mitts, but one thing I really like that the paddles can do that the mitts can't is I can return a little faster to make sure her guard's up. So on the first classic jab now, I'm gonna return with a quick overhand. Lydia's gonna give me a little frame defense out. So we're gonna go jab, quick frame. Jab, quick frame, good. Now on the center chest, I'm gonna catch it and return quick left hook. Same time, good. Same time, good. Same on the far side jab, I'm gonna turn and counter with the left hook again. Show from the other side, Lydia. Classic jab, lock the overhand. Good, again. Again. Good. Offline jab. Good. 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 Far side jab. Very nice. So you start putting all these defensive elements together and making sure you're getting that honest, quick reaction. You know, I see a lot on the, on the mitts especially, if I'm only catching the jab with my lead hand, then when I go to throw a left hook counter, I have to load, I have to, oh, first I have to absorb that punch, then I have to load, and then I have to return. And that's not always really real, realistic when it comes to that fight scenario that we're trying to mimic with the mitt work and the training and the technique. Whereas if I'm catching the far side jab, I can immediately fire that left hook, which is much more similar to a real fight pace. So I think there's a time and a place for both elements where I'm catching the jab, posting, getting my hip back, counter hooking, and also when I'm engaging on the far side jab, and I can immediately check hook and make sure that their guard defense is up, tight, and balanced. Let's go on to one of my uh, other favorite paddle drills. We're gonna go for just a quick jab cross jab to a slip. So this is more of a speed drill. Sometimes I'll use this to help warm up a fighter or sometimes I'll do this at the end of a workout to help cool them down. Um, so Lydia's gonna go quick jab, cross jab, to slip, to a pivot. Boom, good. Watch Lydia's hips on this last jab. She's square on the jab, first jab, cross. Oh, 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 oh. And on the third one, she's gonna really open up and give me that fencing step for the last jab. Slip, pivot, good. And we'll really break that defense down into two separate elements where she slips, then she pivots. Good. All right, let's speed it up a little bit, Lydia. Good. Good. Nice. 
Nice hands up. Good speed. Good. Very nice. Again, something on, on mitts, you could definitely pull out a lot of speed. We could pull it out on the bag work. We could pull it out on the tie pads. But I feel like these paddles, we get a little extra speed kick. And I can flick these things back far. It's a little more range. Make sure they're... Eyes are on, they're adjusting a little quicker, moving a little faster. Let's go one more drill, Lydia. We'll go a jab, cross, jab, cross now. So just four straight punches. Jab, cross, jab, cross. And now you're gonna slip towards your power side. And we'll step out and go off. So four straight to a quick power side slip. Boom, good. Four, slip. Good. Good. And slowing that down, right? Where you're slipping, then you're pivoting, shuffling out, taking your time. Speed, slip fast, exit. All right, pick it up. Good. Good. There you go. On these drills, I'm always aiming right at my fighter's face, right? I gotta keep them honest. I'm not doing them any favors by taking my cross or my jab offline. I'm putting it right at their nose, right at their forehead, and making sure that they're seeing that strike coming fast and realistic. I'd rather have Lydia get hit with a paddle out here on the mats <laughs> than cracked with the cross come fight night. But just good little speed drills. So again, we have our jab placement with the paddles, quick check hook returns, and then we have our fast speed drills, like a one, two, one, slip, pivot, or a one, two, one, two, slip, exit. So try out the paddles, they're a great tool. Focus on the speed, you know, let the heavy bag work, let the big mids pull out that power and technique, let these paddles push your fighters' uh, conditioning, cardio, and speed limits. So thanks for joining us here at Jackson Wing. Thank you, Lydia. Thank you, Warrior Collective.